Okay, so this is not an analysis. This is more of a review from like the perspective of the consumer. Uh, I am a little bit of an otaku. I read manga. I watch anime. I read light novels. Uh, you can see my shit in the anime list and the description or whatever. So really, I've just been looking for other videos on this topic, but I don't really see a lot of people either, you know, putting it up there or they don't give a shit or not a lot of people are, you know, maybe on this topic. But additionally, this channel has mainly just been for me to dick around with my friends on. So I apologize in advance for rambling if I do end up randomly, which I probably will be. The angel next door that spoils me rotten, right, is a slow burn slice of life. It's uh, it just recently got an anime. It started off as books. It's manga is kind of fleshing out a little bit, too. Um, in terms of genre, it's not really like a drama. It's not really uh, a comedy either. Like you're not getting the knee slappers you get in like Kaguya Sama and you're not getting the real intense melodrama that you kind of got from Origaru. This is more just like watching the mundane with with a story overarching. So before before we get into the story a little bit, right? Like I'm gonna break down the MC, Amane Fujimaya. Uh, we're introduced to them as this like, you know, he's not a loner, but he doesn't really fuck with people, right? He doesn't fuck with others. He doesn't get fucked with in return. He just kind of, he kind of exists in that school uh, initially until he meets um, Mahiro Shina. She's the, the main waifu. Uh, you know, when he's walking home one day in the rain, he sees her sitting out on the playground getting pissed on. And uh, cause he's a down homie, he provides her, you know, his umbrella. And because rain is dangerous in Japan, he fucking sprints his ass home. And uh, that is the, the beginning, the first contact of the story. And Amane's backstory is not really given to us from the start. We just know like there's this guy. We don't know anything about who this guy is quite yet or her for, for the most part. We just know that she is like, the picture perfect girl of the school that everybody has, you know, she's mysterious. We, she doesn't really talk to a bunch of people. She doesn't fuck with the, the crowd. She's just this like one off image of perfection that everybody wants to know. And uh, from him giving her him from him, giving her the umbrella kind of like snowballs this relationship and these interactions where, you know, they begin to get closer. They start off as distant, you know, strangers who's like I don't, I don't really know who the other is and then they start to develop this more uh, in-depth relationship i think i forgot to mention that they're also neighbors they live next door to each other which which is just a coincidence but you know that's how it goes in terms of the first three books where the anime is and where the manga is the world building is not is not too crazy right but that's not really the focal point of the story anyways. You're getting a slice of life. Like the setting primarily revolves around their home life and their school life, just flipping back and forth. Um, you do have some other characters, some side characters, but it's not as dynamic as we've seen developed in other stories. They kind of just exist for some kind of relief, not necessarily in a bad way, but you have, you know, his friends who are in their own relationship with uh, Chitose and uh, Iski, they're kind of like a comedic element, comedic relief. And then you have Yuta for the more serious tension relief, who's another guy. And uh, they, they, each, they both, all the friends have their own shit going on. Like they have some kind of thing that's pressing, but we haven't really got to it yet. Currently I'm on book six and we still haven't really gotten that fleshed out. Uh, there's not really any stress to either in terms of like is the story tropey like does it have those common tropes we've seen from romance slice life uh, not really like uh, at, at least from what we've seen so far there's not a lot of tropes besides your normal romance tropes but it's not obscenely like egregious offenses like we've we've seen in uh and like domestic Kanajo. like this is more uh this is more like she trips they land in a in a strange position that brings them closer type of way tropey as the story's developed thus far uh we don't really have 
any sense of urgency but i think that's kind of plays into the hook right like the story you see is the development of two characters who form a you know unique in-depth relationship and you kind of watch them grow over time you're not dealing with any kind of you know in-depth topics or complex societal issues or thought you're just kind of growing or watching them grow like from my deprived childhood i get to watch what it was like to you know experience that kind of thing i will say as of now i'm starting book six i'm a few chapters in like the end of book five into book six there are some weird there are some weird writing moments uh, it could be translation issues it could be a multitude of factors but you know a few pages dedicated to how he's gonna you know cop a fielder and cuddling like i understand maybe maybe that's a part of the genre i haven't really read a lot of romance slice of life uh, light novels before but to me that was just like dude am i reading fucking hentai or as she like what's going on and then my outlook on what happens next what i think is gonna happen is sheena's parents come back in some way that'll cause a problem and then they're gonna have to solve it or they'll cross each other's boundaries something strange is gonna go on between them before they find resolve probably a miscommunication until we get to that fucking graduation wedding arc whatever because that's that's how i think the story is going to progress and if it continues after that who knows I, I i don't now should should you get into it i will say if you like slice of life if you're okay with chilling in the living room for the duration of a book with two other characters then sure if you're a fan of romance anime manga light novel whatever i think it has something for you if you're not into the steady consistent slower pace is what i'll say then probably probably not you're gonna get bored and if you're not really into the romance genre then probably don't want to pick this one up and in summary that's pretty much my my quick overview of what this is what this series is my thoughts and uh if you should get it too thanks